Today I'm going to be comparing these two waffle makers. This one is a $69 Cuisinart. Um, and it's a flip waffle maker. I'm sorry, it's uh, $59 at Bed Bath & Beyond. This one is just a simple uh, $19 one that I got at Walmart. And let's see what the model is. This is the model for the Oster waffle maker. This is the uh, model for the other waffle maker. And so I had a um, Faber, uh, sorry, Farberware waffle maker that I usually use. And it just didn't really have good results. The waffles came out uneven, not very um, uneven on one side, not very um, good quality. And with that was with different recipes. Um, I recently stayed at a hotel where there were uh, flip waffle makers, so I thought I would try uh, try a comparison um, of a flip one and a regular one. And I tried this cheaper one just to see if it would be any better than the um, the one I currently have. But uh, I'm going to be using the same recipe for each one and uh, the same amount, um, so there shouldn't be much difference in that. But uh, I want to see, you know, if one cooks better than the other, one machine. So I will show you those next. This is the Cuisinart machine. So it rotates either side, has this little control. Um, seems pretty nice, and the, the uh, waffle molds seem pretty deep, which is good. This is the Oster one, the $19 one. Um, it seems okay. Um, maybe not quite as deep um, molds for the waffles, but um, the has this dial here. It seems a little cheap, but let's see. The uh, Cuisinart also has a little bit longer cord. This uh, Walmart one does not have a very long cord, so I'm going to have to plug this one in over there and plug this one in under the counter, on the side of the counter. Um, so I will get started and we'll see how they turn out. I'm waiting for each waffle maker to preheat right now. This one uh, has a little green light right there when it will be ready. And then this one has a ready light right there. Um, and I tried to put them on kind of the same setting. This one is on oops, about a four. This one is kind of uh, in the middle of that dial. I like how this one is a little more uh, precise. You can actually see a, um, a setting there instead of just a, a line like the other one. And then I'm gonna use this uh, measuring cup so we get the same amount for each one. And then uh, see how they cook. Okay. Have some there. And we're gonna put some here. I think we may need, might need a little more. Making a mess here, but that is to be expected with waffles. Maybe a little bit more. Just to fill up. My annoying timer is going off. All right, maybe a little bit more here. It's probably not going to be enough, but we will make do with that. Close the lid. And close the lid on this one. And then 
we will see how they cook and we'll just flip this I think I will read the instructions and we'll do that so when the ready light goes off uh, I think that's when we flip it okay we're going to see how each waffle is doing this one says it's ready uh, and no I would not say that is ready at all the edges are still kind of doughy so that one is definitely not ready Maybe we'll turn it up just a little bit. This one says it's ready, so it's supposed to rotate to the right. And we will look at this one. Okay. That one seems to be, actually seems pretty nice. Uh, even. This one may actually be done. Okay, I think we'll take this one out. Wow, that did a good job. Okay, so here's our waffle from this machine. Um, still very doughy around the edges, brown in the middle. Let's check the other side. Let me grab a fork. Other side about the same, actually a little more done around the edges. And then we will check our next waffle. So just to see, I turned up the dial on this one uh, to see how, when I had it flipped in the uh, done position, to see what difference that would make. And actually made a pretty big difference just turning the dial by one increment, increment from uh, four to five. Look at that, very nice. So just for comparison, this is the other waffle maker I was talking about um, that I've had probably for eight years. Um, it's gotten a lot of use. Uh, here's the model number. Let's see. It's upside down. 103739. But uh, just very similar to the newer Oster that I purchased. Um, in as far as quality, um, just very uneven around the edges and not, it does not make waffles that look like that. Um, you know, so you definitely get better waffles when you spend a little bit more money um, and buy a flip waffle maker that uh, has that more professional uh, quality to it. So it definitely makes a big difference in the uh, quality food that, you, that you're getting, quality of waffle that you're getting.